Uh, hi guys, uh, this is just a short video on derivatives. Uh, I'm going to create a bit of a graphical representation here of some polynomial uh, derivatives. Uh, some of you who have been in my class before will have seen this and you're probably sick of seeing it. Uh, it's really important that we've, we've got a good grasp on what these pictures look like. Uh, it'll add to our understanding when we start going into some of the algebraic stuff that we've got to do this term. So I'm just going to draw uh, just your standard cubic function. Uh, so here's a cubic function, something like this. Okay, so you can see our cubic function here. Uh, we'll just call it f of x. It could be like x cubed uh, plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5, something like that. Here's our cubic function. Now, if I go directly underneath that, what I'm going to draw here is the derivative of that. So this is going to be f dash x. Now, uh, in order for you to do that, it's, it's easy if you come up with some key points. Now, the key points are obviously the turning points here and here. Okay, so one turning point there, one turning point there. Now, the turning point at there, you should all know by now that the derivative at the turning point is equal to zero, which means that if I sort of put a little dotted line down there, our derivative is going to pass through there. And here's another turning point here, which just happens to be on the axis. So there's our second turning point. Now here, uh, just use a different colour here. From here to here, in this section onwards, all that section, uh, it has a positive gradient. So a positive gradient here, positive gradient here, positive gradient here. And that can be shown by being above, by having positive y's. Because this isn't really a y axis, it's more like an f dash axis or a derivative axis. Okay, so positive and becoming less positive. You can see less positive, less positive, less positive, zero. Now this section here, from between the two blue points, that section is a negative gradient. It's going downhill. So it's going to be downhill here. And this section from here to here, again, that's a positive gradient. Now this is stuff that you should be uh, you should be familiar with. We've got a quadratic, oh, sorry, a cubic function here, and the derivative of that is a uh, quadratic function. Now we really need to go one more time because we're going to be dealing with double derivatives quite a bit this term. We're going to do f double dash x. That's the double derivative. Now again, here's our turning point of the derivative which means that it's going to be at the zero of, uh, so if we draw a dotted line down there, it's going to be here. Okay, so that's going to be where it passes through. Now from this section to this section, so all of this, i use a different colour, all of this stuff, that's a negative gradient. And all of this is a positive gradient. So negative gradient, negative gradient, negative gradient, positive gradient. Okay, and that should be a straight line. So we've gone from a cubic function, derivative is a quadratic function, and double derivative is a linear function. Very, very important that we've got all of that in our heads. Uh, make sure that you draw those images in your book because we're going to be referring to, to them in uh, a couple of future videos. Now, importantly, compare and contrast that with this f of x. Uh, I'm just going to draw a sort of an opposite one. Okay, you can see this is like a negative cubic function. Now, if I draw the derivative of that, I can do so by finding the turning points going down, so there's 
going to be a turning point there and a turning point there or a root there I guess really. Now you can see from here to here the derivative is uh, negative. From here to here the derivative is positive from here to here. And from here to here the derivative is negative. Okay, that's a pretty ugly looking quadratic but it's a quadratic nonetheless. Uh, finally, if we find the double derivative of that, we can do the same thing. Here's our turning point. It's dot, 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 dot. It's going to pass through there. And you can see we have a positive gradient here and a negative gradient here. So positive gradient, negative gradient. So it's going to look something like that. Positive gradient, negative gradient. Remember the gradients on the y-axis here, positive, negative. Okay, these images, this uh, this little image here, you really want to put it in your book because I'm going to do a couple of videos that keep referring back to this this video here. So, uh, we're going to deal mainly. We're going to deal with polynomial functions, uh, cubics, quadratics, and uh, linears. Uh, we might also go up into quartics even uh, with three turning points. Okay, uh, see you in the next video.